So today we are gonna plot linear equation or a line in Python and um, I'm just right here plotting plot a line in Python. Well, this forms the basic of uh, linear regression and regression models. You should know how, how to really exactly go with it. So before that, let's just import numpy as np and you will see the power of numpy, the numerical Python, which just creates um, random number, generates so many random numbers and arrange it, um, you know, in a very linear fashion and generate lines for you. So um, let us first of all plot a line, okay, and see. There are various ways and we will see three or four ways how do we do it. So I will use x and an object and then I will create np dot then space and this uh, evenly generates numbers between a range okay in a specified range that I'm giving from 0 to 100 okay and uh, if you are confused what parameters to pass into this just hit shift and tab in your key keyboard and you will write you will get this start at 0 stop at 100 number equals to 50 so i can give it any number suppose i give it like 500 i want some number i can give the end point if i want now i give y because in a line i have x and y all right and then i can give y as simple like x square okay and then i have to import the uh, m matplotlib because i have to plot it also and show you I will import import matplotlib matplotlib dot pyplot as plt, and these are the basic conventions which we use. Okay, uh, uh, as plt. Sorry, this would again give me an error because I have not uh, given any plt. Plt dot scatter. Suppose I want to simply plot and scatter of x and y that I have given. And let's see what it gives a simple equation of a line x and y being plotted in a scatter plot and this has randomly generated 500 points starting from 0 to 100 now suppose I don't give this now what will happen you see right so it depends on keep on experimenting with these things it gives you see scattered this thing and then you can set various things in PLT like x label you can give x label suppose i give here x x's and then y label you know you can give uh, y x's anything whatever you want to give it and then you can also give plt dot title i'm just setting the x's that's it just to make it more present uh, presentable so plot of what a line graph in python i can just write this right plot line graph i can set the size i can set the let's give me let me give you size also and let let us give a color also if you want so if i give the color as magenta pink or something so you can see the change right and so on now suppose i don't want this text 0.51 and stuff so just write here semicolon and you won't get that thing that code that you were getting in this display so cool it's cool enough it's quite good now now let us see this was a simple that we generated randomly with the help of numpy linearly spaced points 120 points between 0 to 100 okay now this is something different different plot will come up from 0 to 100 okay and so on all right so now let us go on to another way of plotting and equation and let me give you a line now suppose i just used here x square okay i'll just copy this and i will change x and y only because that would be fast now here i would just give now it i just give linearly spacing from 0 to 100 and in y i will write the equation of a line suppose i write here 3 into x plus 4 now what is the equation of a line equation of a line is all this is i can just write here equation of line is okay it is y plus y equals to mx plus c this is the equation of line y equals to mx plus c so 
what I will do is, well, that is what I have done. M, X plus C. M, I have taken 3. X, I have not specified. And C, I have taken as 4. This is what I am giving. Okay. And let's just plot it again. So, can you see? I have plotted a line now. Okay. Because I have given an equation of a line. Here, I have not given anything. But still, it plotted some curve line. Curve kind of a twisted line. Okay. All right, now another way of plotting it is, now suppose I just play around with this thing and I give you a green color. Ha ha, okay. Now, now uh, one more thing which I wanna show you is, hmm, uh, something which I would set C1 also. Okay, fine, forget it. I will just generate random numbers and for that I will use np.random numbers and then I would use here random state now i'm telling you something very important here just pay attention what is this random state and why i'm doing this x is equals to now let me take here something like suppose five into random this thing dot the same random generated number dot random and then i will write here suppose 50 numbers i want okay and in y what i'll do is i will write here x plus this the same object rng dot random and again this will also take 50 numbers just wait and watch what happens now because i'm gonna plot something in x and y in the form of a scatter and this is what i got i don't want this okay so this is how i got some scattered plot a line i can say right x on x and y and random generated value now this random state this is a seed which is for re reproducibility now suppose i don't give this what will happen is that every time i will i will run the code without this my plots would change okay so this is for every time i will run the code uh, every, anybody else would run the code with the help of this one they will also get the same plot as the plot direction will change because it will keep on you know, reshuffling or using different random values when you're plotting. So with random state, you fix that those numbers and every time you will run this code, you will get the same result. Okay. So in X, I have given some, some random values and multiplied by five. Again, in Y, I have given whatever values you get in X, you add them with the random values. So with those 50 generated values, you plot x and y so it has plotted x and it has plotted y and it, it we get these scatter plots this is another way of um, showing this thing now this is one useful tip that i can give you is here you can import c1 as sns and what will c1 do is you know i will just set sns dot set here because and then you see what happens to your plot it just set the grid because c1 is built upon matplotlib so what it is using the features of matplotlib and also giving you more functionality and better representation of your data right and you can see here that the grids are set now previously it was not there okay so this is quite interpretable now and i have used since five here and i can use your 10 suppose then again my plot would be different okay so this was about plotting a simple line graph, plotting scatter plot in your Python Jupyter notebook. And this is like regression. How, how does you uh, interpret the, you know, intercept and slope? How are they calculated? What are the formulas? And how do you really go about with linear regression? So this is a very basic, how do you start with plotting a line in Jupyter notebook or in Python? And... Uh, this is it for linear regression, I guess. This was a basic uh, understanding how to plot a line, an equation. And uh, that's it. Thank you.